Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I have Bubba here with me and today we are doing a mukbang for you guys, but it's also really exciting because we're eating Carl's Jr. I'm so excited because um, here on base, they only have, I cut myself. Here on base, they only have McDonald's and Taco Bell and like a little mini food court with like Popeyes or something. Um, so when we found out this place was opening, we were excited and we really wanted to do it for a mukbang. So today we're gonna be answering questions that you guys had asked us, but also, um, before that, is that for my burger? What burger look like? There it is. Look at that. Ooh, so that's his. What did you get? The Western Angus bacon burger. Mm -hmm. This one's mine. So this is mine. I got the Hawaiian teriyaki burger. This is the only burger I get from Carl's Jr. because it's literally my favorite. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, we're going to be answering questions. But first, we're going to talk about... Well, he probably already knows, but because he's been eating. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about the quality of this Carl's Jr. compared to the ones back in the States, just because the food here in Japan is very, very, very different, even the McDonald's. Also, we have, da -da -da, this is fried, fried sauce. sauce. Um, we got this from the commissary, but normally I just make it with like ketchup and uh, mayonnaise. It's an actual thing, it's, or the company's made, or it's from Utah. Yeah. That's where we're at. You go to any restaurant or fast food place in Utah, they got fry sauce. So, those are our burgers. We got regular fries, then we got crisp cut fries. Ah! Read some books. What? Okay, so we're gonna try the burgers at the what? same time. I said, why'd you put SpongeBob on? Because they like SpongeBob. Ooh, this burger looks so damn good. If you guys live in Yakuska and you guys don't already know, there's a Carl Jr. right across from Womble Gate. Alright, one, two, three. <laughs> I don't taste any difference, but the only difference with this Carl's Jr. and the one in the States is this one is way more expensive. I think it tastes a lot better. It's, uh, it's less, um... Greasy. Less, way less greasy, more flavor. If you didn't get my face, that was like the... That's so raisin. Raisin. <laughs> that's so raven, like, I have a vision. When she's having a vision. <laughs> <laughs> well, Man. Bye. Now that we've been into the burgers, oh, we both have ginger ale too. I don't know if I said that, but we're gonna answer some of your guys' questions. By the I, way, I think yeah. this whole mukbang thing, I think, is really weird. And if you like to watch people eat, I think you're really weird as well. He's tripping. I don't know. Randomly, get down, get down. I came across Kim Tai's um, seafood boil mukbang, so I started watching her. That I saw like B Love and stuff like that. So I showed him. I was like, honey, like, like. And he was like, are you watching people eat? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to watch a video of someone eating? And what's more weird is the videos where they enhan enhance the sound. And the audio. ASMR videos. That's disgusting. Like. But like some people are actually into that. Like some people actually really like, yeah, like hearing that. That's what you want to hear? Is that what you want to hear? You're not entertained. <laughs> I asked you guys to ask us questions on like marriage and like relationship stuff just because I thought it'd be really cool to Wanna watch me eat? Huh? Talk about Huh? Huh? Like that? Weirdos You're <laughs> so annoying And let's get into it So we're gonna do Let's do YouTube first We're gonna do YouTube questions first and then we're gonna go into the Instagram questions Okay, are you guys having more babies after your third? By the way, I love you girl I love you too Um, are we? I'm gonna try for another boy Another boy? <laughs> we're trying for a boy. We both really want boys. Mm -hmm. Technically, I wanted to have four boys. That was like my dream because I grew His up. His mom has four boys. Yeah, it's me and my three older brothers. I think and I really, I really enjoyed growing up having my older brother. So naturally, I wanted that's what I wanted. But can you get napkin? I'm heading in the opposite direction right now. <laughs> We're having so much fun with our girls right now. Like, that's why I'm so excited. And growing up, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure I've said this on camera, but growing up, I never had any, I never had any sisters. I only have one brother. So I'm excited for my girls to grow up with sisters. We do, we do really want a boy. So yes, the answer is yes, we are gonna try again. So this one is for my cousin, Nolly. I'm so excited. Remember Nolly? Remember Nolly? Mm -hmm. um, my cousin Nolly is pregnant too, and I'm so excited because she's Carson, having, right? yeah, she's having a baby girl and I'm so excited. Um, Okay, so she goes, were you guys disappointed that you weren't having a boy this time around? Are you planning to keep trying for a boy? Now that I'm pregnant with a girl, I pray that my next will be a boy one day. I think it'd be, a, I think I'd be a little bummed if I had another girl, even though either is a blessing. How do you guys feel about the gender thing? 
Thanks, Seth, for the questions. That was um, a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, I was very disappointed when yeah. I hit the ball and it was If you guys didn't see our gender very reveal, I will link it right here. It's in the cards. I think the cards come out this way. Yes, so it'll be it'll be right here so you guys can see. If not, it'll be linked down below for you guys. But he was very disappointed. He hit the ball and he was like, oh my god. That, um, I think that day I drank for like 12 hours straight. <laughs> like, I was really disappointed. I don't know. Honestly, I was really, really shocked. Really shocked. And as much, I don't know that I was telling him, as much as I really, really wanted a boy this time around, I just had a feeling that it was a girl. Was I disappointed? Sort of, because I really wanted a boy. And also just because I knew that if this one wasn't a boy, that we were going to try again. And this pregnancy has been really hard for me this time around. This pregnancy is really different from my two girls, which is also why we kind of thought it was a boy, was because this different, this pregnancy is so different. Uh, but I, like I said, I was also really excited just because that's one more sister for my girls, you know? Are you, are you planning to keep trying for a boy? We said yes. Um, how did you feel about the gender thing? I'm assuming you're, I don't know, sis, I'm, sis, what do you mean by that? I'm assuming you're asking about the gender reveal or like how, like how we found out it's a girl, I'm not sure. But oh. we told you, we told you, yeah, we were, were we disappointed? He. I don't want to say yes, but I also don't want to say no. So I was in the middle, but he was disappointed. He was really disappointed. This one is, isn't about us, but I just asked, when did you start YouTube? Um, I started YouTube when I was pregnant with Lolo. So a little over three years ago. Y'all, this fry sauce is so good. What is both of your favorite meals? I would say like pasta. Like I love Alfredo, like chicken Alfredo or shrimp Alfredo. Ooh, that's good. Favorite meal is a question? Uh-huh. Um... Mm. Fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I love fried chicken. Bam! Let's say you turn a single burger into a double burger. Mmm! Uh, <laughs> delicioso! <laughs> Can you do the dab and say mate ma atonga? You're talking do to me. Do it, honey. We're talking to me. Do it, baby. I ain't saying that. Do it. I ain't saying that. Why? Because I ain't talking. That's he doesn't why. know how to say it. That's why. I take it down. Do it, you say it. I'm Dad. not talking, so I'm not going to say it. Dad, you say it. You say it. That request was for you. <laughs> it was for both of us. Come on, honey. Oh. Do it for the fam. Viva la France. <laughs> okay, Talofa from Arizona. I found you because my cousin Antonia did her makeup with you, and I've been obsessed since. Hi, sis. How did your husband feel when you first started YouTube? When I first started, we were just dating. But I don't know. How, do you, how did you feel? I told her as long as she gets paid for it. <laughs> um, no, I just told her she needs, cause she's very sensitive, very emotional. So I told her she has to have strong skin, cause a lot of people are gonna be hating on her, and you know, people will dislike it, just dislike it, or send hate comments just to send it. But she can't, she can't be taking it too personal. That's the only thing I ever told her. Uh -huh. All right, now nah, I never really cared. Well, I didn't, not that I didn't care, but I was like... He supported me, and he still does. My hair, it's my number one fan right here. He be gassing me up more than I gas myself up. We be going places, he be like, my wife has a YouTube channel, and I'm like... Because she she doesn't know how to present herself. She doesn't... She's afraid to tell people what she is. Like, how, how are you trying to do this and like, have a lot of people follow you, but you don't want to tell anyone? So my future I, manager right here. That's where I got to step in. <laughs> he has to come save the day. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. <laughs> so now we're gonna go into the Instagram questions. April C E asks, "What's the plan when I come?" <laughs> well, let me tell you, sis. You already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the fuck up. JJ Malupe goes, "What's a mukbang?" How do you not know what a mukbang is, JJ? If you guys didn't know, JJ is my brother, the one I was talking about earlier. Okay, so the realest. Love you, bro. You the one. Okay, y'all are such a beautiful poly couple. Will y'all keep trying for a baby boy? LOL, I hope you guys do. Thank you, that was really nice of you. Um, yeah, we answered that, yes. We'll try. I think I think our biggest fear, both of ours, is that it's gonna be another girl. <laughs> and if it is, we're, we're not trying anymore after that. How old were you both when you started dating? 16. We were 16 years old. We met our sophomore year of high school, yeah. Summer, sophomore year. Summer, yeah. Going into Going junior, into junior year. Uh -huh. Now we're 24, 25. Now we're 24 and 25. Married with two kids and one, one on the way. way. Did you guys take a break before moving to Japan? Um, what does that mean? Like a break. <laughs> like in a relationship? In our relationship. <laughs> Not before we moved to Japan, no, but wow. in, in our, I know, whoa, <laughs> deep. No, um, <laughs> so we've been dating for July 21st, 2010. 
you know, we've been together. So eight years. In that eight years, yes, we've taken breaks, but not before not before we got to Japan. We were together. At the top of my life. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> hey nigga. <laughs> Name that movie. How was your first year as a married couple? They always say the first year is the toughest. That saying is very mm -hmm. true. Um, our first year was very rough. So rough. So 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 rough. Um, we almost didn't make it out of it. Honestly, I would say a year and a half. Huh? And he's right. We almost didn't. We Cyrus and I almost got a divorce. Divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus, yeah, we almost got a divorce. And yeah, we almost didn't make it. Yeah, literally. It was we were, really rough. We were this close. Like, honestly, we were we were just waiting for him to get back from deployment for us to. Can you stop? There's so much going on right now. He's moving the table. My kids are back there killing themselves. Like I was saying, uh, yeah, we literally were just waiting for him to get home from deployment for us to like do the paperwork and stuff like that. But the girls made it hard, especially the, the biggest one, Lola. She was getting in the car and she was getting ready to leave. But then Lola wouldn't let go of me. So it was pretty hard trying to push away the little girl. So, But don't take that as we stayed together for our kids because yeah. we didn't. We def and we both we are both very firm believers that nobody should ever stay together for their kids. So that's why we didn't. But I don't I don't even know I don't know how to say it. Like I know I know like by what he just said it kind of made it seem like well Lolo's the only reason why we stay together. You know what I mean? Like yeah no, no but it, it it wasn't the girls yeah like, it was just in that in that moment. Mm -hmm. I mean who can push away your daughter that's crying for you? You know what I mean? So. But, but we, even we, then, we, after that, it was still we still had like yeah. our rough, like our rough rocky yeah. patches and stuff. Literally, I don't know, maybe three months of it, and then we were like, okay, what are what are we doing? Are we going to get a divorce, or are we going to stay together and try to work this out and figure out if we love each other, or you know, like with without the kids, I guess you can say. You know what I mean? And I think like a big portion was that we've already been together for like six years of our lives. Like, right? We spent a lot. Yeah, we were we already wasting more. We could have quickly wasted that time, and were we going to continue to waste each other's time? Right. But then that's when we was like, we knew that we still loved each other. Yeah. But we weren't like in it love. Was, honestly, it was so it was insecurities a, yeah. with me. It was just trust overall, and that's like like I said, that's when we both were like, okay, what are we, like are we going to move forward from this, or are we just going to call it quits and you know was you it, get or you know we were we, we were around like, like different influences. We were. Cause we not were. not the whole time we were married, we lived together. Yeah. We were uh, we lived in different places while we were married. Mm -hmm. So you know, which a lot was different, hard. A lot of different inf uh, influences that you have. So uh -huh. and coming out here to Japan, away from uh, everyone, was really good for us. Absolutely. When he when we first got married, we moved to Port Miami, and then six months later, he left for deployment. Mm -hmm. And I was pregnant with Milan, or literally just about to give birth to her, and he had left for deployment. So that played a big role in it you know what i mean and um honestly it was i think now that we look back on it it was just a lot of um i don't want to say pettiness but you know what i mean like it was stuff that just totally could have just been over and done with you know what i mean like we could i feel like we could have been move on from whatever it was and you know yeah yeah but um but like he said moving out here we didn't move out here to like fix our marriage we moved out here because he got orders out here but moving out here has definitely strengthened our marriage and i think when i say this i can say it for both of us that we are at the strongest place ever mm -hmm. in our marriage and it's because we're not around other like outside influences yes exactly exactly we also just feel very blessed that we are where we are right now because mm -hmm. where we are right oh, now shit. <laughs> she's scared me too. She's scared me too. <laughs> a year ago is when we came out here we've our one year is coming up next month but even Yo. then we were good but we weren't as good as we are now two years ago though if you would have told us that we, we would be here right now we probably would have been like Shut the fuck up, no. Yeah, first year is really rough. Yeah, I'm saying, going back, yes, our first year is very rough. And honestly, I think it's just, it's just because you you really are moving from a relationship to a marriage. Like, well, of course it's a relationship, but you know what I mean? Like, from just dating to boyfriend, girlfriend to actually mm -hmm. being married, that's a, it's a whole different commitment. Moral of the story is, yes, the first year was very hard, but now we are in two years. Is it two years and a half? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, two years and a half. And, uh... Going strong. Yes, we are. Thank you for that question. That was a really good one. Both. Describe each other using one word, and how did you know he slash she was the one? Compassionate. I know we liked you a lot. And then... I, I don't think I really knew you were the one. I think I just grew into the idea of you being the one. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, made it a reality. Um, one word. Ah! 
<laughs> selfless. That's what he is. He's the most selfless person I've ever met. I knew he was the one from the very moment him and I started removing. Him and I started talking. So we didn't meet like face to face. We actually started texting each other first and then we <coughs> met each other. But from then, from the very first day we started like texting and stuff, I was like, oh my gosh. In that very moment that I know he was the one, I knew I, I knew from that moment where I was I knew in that moment that I wanted to be together. And then what are you doing? Look at my tattoo. And then um, when we started dating and stuff, like you said, I, I don't know, I, just, I kind of grew into the idea that he was the one. But from the very first moment, I so we started talking, I was like, he's, oh, I'm making this nigga mine because, ew! Who wears the pants in the relationship? Me. That's easy. Hey, you don't lie to them. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> no. Yes. Huh? You see this? this? Huh? What's this? Huh? What's this? Sweat. Pants. Sweat. Huh? Who's wearing it? No, he wears one leg, I wear the other. No, I well, wear both legs. You wear the socks. <laughs> the <fuck? laughs> All day. One pillow. <laughs> no sleep. Did you guys get married at a young age? Yeah. We did. How old were we? 22. We were 22 when yep. we got married. We got married at... Oh, this is why we got married at a young age. Because, like we said earlier, we were already... At that time, we were together for like, what, four years? Maybe? Four, five. Five years. Um, yeah, we were together for five years and we were like, we already had our baby girl and we were like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's make it official. We didn't get married because of Lolo, but right. Lolo was like a... A factor in it. Push. Right, which, there you go. That's what I was trying to say earlier, what you just said. We didn't stay together because of the kids. They were just a push. Well, I haven't like oh, seen... Oh, you need a little push. He's going to be an actor, you guys. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> ah! Oh, so now every time we watch a movie and someone's like dying or something, he like acts out the far. When you guys started dating, did you guys tell your parents or someone else told them? We told our parents. We told our parents, yeah. What is something fun you guys like to do together as a couple? That's a good question. We do a lot. We do everything together. I think we like to watch movies. Yeah, that's our favorite thing yeah, to do together. We just chill watching movies. Nothing crazy. Literally. We have a movie night every single night. That's Nothing our crazy. favorite thing to do. Make babies. <laughs> That we do. <laughs> what are some Samoan or Tongan traditions do you guys practice in your household? That's a really good question. Um, I, I would say it's more like all poly traditions, or this tradition is like, a, like all poly teach, but it's mo mainly just like respect. Mm -hmm. Like we make sure our kids, our kids know like to respect their um, elders. You know, just simple things. Right, like, manners. Yeah, having manners because a lot of kids these days don't have manners of any sort. Mm -hmm. Teaching them. Uh, to do fails, to do yeah. chores, chores is something you get paid for. We also think it's really important teaching them at a young age, you know. Yeah. So the, the girls know, like, when we clean up, the girls know how to help us clean. Mm -hmm. They help us wash the dishes. I mean, they're only two and three years old, but they already know how to how to put, like, the laundry into the laundry room and just simple stuff. Just, to, yeah, stuff that we grew up. But I think right now our main mm -hmm. focus is mm -hmm. right now we understand the language better than we can speak it. So right now our... Make, like our focus, I guess you can say, is trying to learn learning things. it for ourselves, but also teaching it to our kids yeah. because we really want our kids to know it just as much as we do. You know, yep. what were you got? What were your guys' first ever gifts you gave each other? Daddy. They're coming to tell him that it's fun. Thank you, Nana. Na que sigo? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. A sweet salad, girl. Yeah. It was a gift, yeah, for my birthday. My favorite flowers are roses. So for my birthday, he got me three bouquets of roses. One red, one like multicolored. Do you remember that? That one was cute. Yep. And like a white one, I think. But he also got me my favorite candy. So that was that was the very first. Will you guys ever settle in one location? Does your hubby ever see himself out of the Navy? That's a good one. I want to say yes, but I think we also want to say no. Right? Yeah. I can see myself out of the Navy, but... There's no point of getting out if I can't find a job that has... Cause I mean, I know a lot of jobs pay more, but a lot of jobs don't have the same benefits. So like, yeah, I want to get out, to be honest, but I can't... She's in the room. I can't get out unless I have a job that has better pay and better benefits or equal benefits to Navy. Mm -hmm. So until then, stuck like Chuck. Which also answers the second question of, will we ever settle? If he were to get out, yeah. And we'd most likely definitely settle in California. Yeah. Um, Either California or Vegas. 
Or Vegas, yeah. Or Arizona. I was like, maybe or Arizona, Utah. possibly Arizona, maybe even Utah, but somewhere, somewhere on that coast. Yeah. If he could, if he stays in, we'll settle <clears throat> after he retires. You know. Yep. Hey. Girls, the last question. I saved the best for last. <laughs> Why does your husband not like that you're part Tongan? <laughs> huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> See that? That's why. That's the Tongan in there right there. <laughs> you guys, honestly, he kids though. He kids. He doesn't mean it. Hmm? Hmm? No, I, I don't. I don't. Obviously, I married her and I have kids with her, so. I mean, I don't hate that she's Tongan. It just, he I'm, would just prefer if I was full someone. <laughs> I just like to make fun of her, you know. Yeah. It's all joke stocks. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't hate that she's talking. We just, we just make fun of her. Me and all my family. Every single one. Yeah. All right, guys, and that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for the questions you guys asked. We had so much fun answering them. Um, if you guys want to see another mukbang with homeboy, then give the video a big thumbs up. Or if y'all want me to do his makeup, give the video a big thumbs up. Um, you have anything to say? Nope. No. Nope. Glad to be here. Yes. Subscribe to your friends. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, my social media links are always down below for you guys. We will see you guys in our next video, my next video, whatever it is. Bye, guys.